this is called Economics in Washington, and it, it just seemed like today um, we need to just all be hallucinating numbers. And um, I, we would regularly walk past the, um, the, uh, fed, the Federal Reserve, and um, so um, anyway, this is self-explanatory. Economics in Washington, thank you for your attention. <laughs> I'm sick of irony. Everything feels everything. Everything returns to Earth. There are no spaces between us. If you walk past the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, numbers speak in color by order of the dream. Chartreuse fours talk to blue eights, nines speak yellow. There is fever in the badges of the guards. Inside the Federal Reserve, humans twirl the national debt on its orange threes, and grays, gray elevens are spinning too. Humans take a pile of blue eights from a teacher in Des Moines and spin them to day traders in Cancun. They take brown fives from a waitress in Detroit and give them to gamers in LA. If it is warm, you can send yourself out as a seven because sevens can fly. They fly over buyout specialist lobbyists drinking lattes with classic sweetener nearby. If you go to the Capitol, you can send reports to the provinces of astounding sights you saw there. Numbers plot as you walk to Congress like Italian anarchists from Petaluma in 1948. <laughs> Rooftop trees make a pirate flapping as you walk from Union Station. There is fever in the badges of the guards. I'm sick of irony. Everything feels everything, feels itself as nearly lived. Even colorless floating dollars that have do done violence and have lain down to absorb the blood and fluttered home to die. Numbers feel as they are spent. Twos tinged with cinnamon migrate over commodity policies. Your great reliable love will never be used up. You are very tired, I know. You shouldn't have to travel. But in your wisdom, you can send yourself out as a shaman pushes himself from the mouth of a lily to fly over the Pentagon, clutching a chrome 10 or a vermilion 6 to enter the world with feeling. People on their lunch breaks are reading nearly weightless novels on the benches in the park, making nine to fives with their legs, eating takeout, feeding bits of tuna wrap to Capitol Hill squirrels. A poem changes nothing. This isn't a political poem. There are no results in poetry. A shaking doubt has instructed you to address the long wars with our short cries. Not to live against earth. You who have so little time. You to whom others have written. You a citizen of matter and beyond. <laughs>